What is going on YouTube? If you follow me on social media, then you know I had a ultra viral video on TikTok blow up with some flashing tile fish. And that's exactly what is in this bag. These are not the ones from the video. These are actually very small ones that are actually gonna fit in this tank perfectly now that this tank is full of everything out of the other two tanks. But I needed more fish in here. And we got these in today. I wasn't originally gonna take them, but then they came in so small. I was like, these are gonna be perfect for this little tank. Now I just posted a bunch of TikToks with them so you can go see them actually changing. Now I will also include a video right now. Oh! These are awesome. They are so cool. It's actually a stress pattern when they flash. It's actually them stressing out, but that's how they get their name and that's how they made me go so viral on TikTok. So I'm going to drip acclimate these guys for a little bit just to get them as comfortable as possible. They've been in a bag and traveling for a long time. Now, while these guys are acclimating, I want to be fighting off this cat. Alrighty guys, cash in hand. That tank is now sold, making the room now for the peninsula. Oh, the Though there might be a change in plans. I might actually be moving possibly and then renting this place out. I've been trying to get a rental property for a very long time now. I was gonna go buy another place and then I realized it's a lot cheaper if I just move and rent this place out. So it might be a little bit of a delay, but I'm not 100% sure. But this tank is now gone. Everything now is in the 20 gallon. So let's go get those flashing tile fish into the tank. Now that video I showed you before is these actual tile fish. But the video I went super viral for is this one. Oh, that's oh. sick. <laughs> now, these guys are much smaller, but they will grow. And I actually have a lot of faith in them because they are smaller. They might do better in captivity. Okay, first what I'm gonna do is feed the clownfish. Not too worried about him, but you know, a little distraction couldn't hurt. There you go. Tank is getting a little bit of algae. Little diatom bloom. We'll get some snails. Oh look, the bullseye shed. So you don't think that he's dead, he's over here. You can also see the Harlo one of the Harlequin stars back there. But let's get these guys into the tank. Oh, relax. Now I put the lights on white just in case, you know, you can see them flash in here. I mean, I can really see it in blue light. Net one. All right, we got them both net. There they go. Kind of see him shimmering a little bit. There's the other guy. Now they both went and hid. The one went under the eight can. You might want to get out of there, buddy. Pistol shrimp might not like you down there. Just like I said, bulls like quickly kicked them out. Go find your friend. Now I'm gonna do a quick water change on this tank because I am making the commitment to be more discipline in my water changes. Now that I only will have one tank to worry about, I think I can manage a 20 gallon aquarium with small water changes. So let's do that real quick. All right, water change is done. Per usual, after the water change, it's gonna be a little dirty for a bit. But I mean, the towel fish is still out. The other one is still hiding underneath this AK. Oh, there's an Aptasia there, gotta get that. Uh, but the other one's still hiding underneath there. I just came and fed him. I scared him a little bit, but they are both hiding back there. He definitely came out and ate. Definitely a good sign. We just got back from the boat ride. Uh, I am burnt to a crisp. I'm not turning the lights on because the tile fish are both out and I don't really want to scare them. But I'm out swimming. They're eating now. Such a good sign. Right now I am headed back home Today was fish day and in the comments on the last video, I said, you know, comment, I guess it was two videos ago, comment what you think I should get to match with my pistol shrimp. Now, literally every comment was the exact answer. I mean, I, I had no choice but to get a Yasha Gobi pair. Now, I did get actually a pair so that there will be two of them to join the pistol shrimp. I'm a little nervous because he is kind of aggressive. He snaps all the time and I could hear him going at the fish in the tank. So hopefully this works out. And then I got one other fish for the 20 gallon and I will show you guys when I get home. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys later in the video. So you're gonna have to stick around to see what I got for the 20 gallon. All right, so the lights are starting to go down. Uh, the tile fish is hiding right now. We got the clownfish, all the acans, mushrooms, yada, yada, yada. 
So we're starting off for drip acclimating. So I got to turn the pump off. I don't think you can see it. He's in there somewhere, is the pistol shrimp. But he's in there nonetheless. So we're gonna pop open the three new fish for this tank. I'm not gonna show them drip acclimating because that means you're gonna see the new fish that you don't know about that is not the Yashagobis. So when I go to put them in the tank, that's when I will show them. But real quick, we'll show off the Yashagobis. So the way you tell male versus female is their front fins have, one has a black dot and one is just clear. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, did I get two females? But no. Okay, so you see this back one, you see the black dots, black dots next to the hyphen, and that one has no black dots next to the hyphen. So that's the male, that's the female. I know, you wanna see the new fish. Leave it be. Okay, now let's pop the new fish in there so we can start drip acclimating them. Oh, quick. There we go. Okay, they've been dripping for a bit. There's a good amount of water. Oh, you kind of can see what that new fish is. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna turn the lights on in the tank so I can make sure that these guys go in with the bullseye pistol shrimp. Super bright, let's pull that. Can you see them in there now? You kind of see some claws back in there. Okay, it's gonna be really hard to get these guys in here without showing you what the other fish is. So I guess I'm just gonna show it to you. So as you guys know, the lone clownfish fish that has been in this tank is a frostbite longfin clown. Now that right there is a black storm longfin. Now there are levels to clownfish. There's the regular clownfish, then there are designer clownfish. There are storms, and then basically there's long fins of everything. So there's basically you know, three categories of everything. Storms are, you know, designers, but they're like a different level of designer. Basically, this is like the top of the top clownfish. It is a black storm, long fin clownfish. It doesn't get cooler than that. I've been wanting one for a while. They finally came available. I finally trusted this tank to have some fish in it, have some expensive fish in it. That clownfish was, I don't want to say, but it was a lot of money. But let's go ahead and see if they pair up. If not, we'll put it with the Nem. I don't know. But hopefully it works out. Let's go for it. So let's do the clown first. Be friends. So definitely that would be the female. Now again, they haven't, he hasn't seen a clown in a long time. So let's see how this goes. They're like butterfly koi. I, I think I like long fin clownfish so much more than regulars. There they are. So far so good. All right, now time for the Yashagobis, and I definitely want to scoop them together. All right, we got both of them. We're just going to go straight down into the cave. Go down. All right, perfect. Right into the cave. Bullseye chased her out a little bit, but hopefully they work their differences out. There's the female. That's the male. Bullseye's kind of sensing them out. Like, who are y'all? We're gonna be friends. Don't don't grab the tail. All right, she went to the cave. It's a good sign. He's welcoming her in. All right, dude. Now you gotta go in there. She's in. Oh, oh, that wasn't that wasn't a good noise. Wasn't a good noise, so we will see what happens if that works out. I, I don't know. I'm gonna post this video before I really give an update. There's a pair of Yashagobis in there. Maybe they'll go with the bullseye pistol. The clowns look great together. They're having no issues whatsoever. They're hanging out. Both Harlequin and Starfish are hanging out together down there. He's still just chilling right there. It is the next day. Let's see how everyone is doing. Got both clowns out in front. The bullseye, there's no Yasha down in there. I do not see them right now, but let's feed the tank and see if anybody comes out. There's some mice shrimp for the tank. So Harlequin and Starfish starting to smell it. Other ones starting to get active. Okay, I did find one. We will see if I can get a video of it. It is behind a snail shell underneath the rock, but I can see like little red stripes. Let's see if I can get a video of it. It's behind that snail, oh, maybe? There you go. You can kind of see right there. You can see the high fin just kind of sticking out. There you go. You saw that? You saw it, right? 
It's only a 20 gallon tank, but there's a good amount of rock in there. So I don't know if you could see it, but there was definitely some movement there. You could definitely see it just kind of scurry out. My camera would not focus for the life of me, but that is going to be it for that video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you like the new additions to the 20 gallon. I think it's a really good group of fish. I don't think there's much else we can put in there until the clowns get their own tank, which is not going to be until I get a new house. So I'm not setting up a tank and then going to move it. We're just going to stick with the one tank for now, but let me know if you guys want to see kind of the new house or where I'm moving or the whole process. I haven't picked one yet. I have one that I like a lot. So I'm trying to move fast on it right now. But let me know if you guys want to come with me touring houses. Well, I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me. And of course, until next time, I'll see you then.